Uh, hey guys, um, I'm here to make an update video on um, the progress of iDroid or you know Android on the iPhone. Now basically there hasn't been much progress because um, the stuff that's happening right now has mostly to do with power management and as well as the uh, GPU driver so actually doing that takes quite a bit of time. Meanwhile, um, as most of you might or might not have done, uh, uh, you might have installed the iOS 4 update, so I'll just click here to show you um, that, you know, I'm on iOS 4 right now. Let's see. There we go. Baseband 05.0.5.13.04, uh, no, no. and I am on 4.0. Now, it is possible to install iDroid on this, um, because, you know, Open iBoot has been um, made so it's compatible with this... Um, baseband. So, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how it works and um, uh, I've just written a tutorial on it so, um, you know, if it checks out well with all the other people, you know, meaning that it doesn't screw up your uh, iPhone, it's a, it's a pretty easy tutorial, shouldn't take you that long. Uh, I'll be posting it on the uh, link below. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just um, do a video demo to show you how this works. Let's see, power, just reboot it. Again, you can see it's, this is the uh, version for the uh, iOS 4 because on the bottom here it says free EF5 BFA, which is the version I've used. So, I select Android and, um, yeah. <laughs> I have to stress that currently I am using um, uh, Dario's version of iOS uh, iFroyo 2.2. Or iPhone 0.1.3, um, and um, progress has been good. It's uh, the file size is uh, quite a bit smaller. It's very, it's pretty smooth, and I think with the power management and um, video drivers implemented, it should be a pretty, pretty good. The uh, boot up should be pretty fast too. See, look, it's already on the uh, Android part. Yeah. Okay, so right now it's booting up. Still. <laughs> there we go. And as you can tell by the sliding mechanism, it's ready a lot smoother. Uh, one of the things I have to mention is that. Um, you know, it's it's gotten better, but you know, it's still quite laggy compared to the first version. Uh, Wi-Fi doesn't still doesn't seem to work, though. I've heard reports of uh, some people actually getting it to work. Um, uh, the version of Open iBoot that I've used does not um, support calls, even though that I am told that um, there are certain versions that do. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much you know same old, same old. Still a bit laggy, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, as usual, as usual, to shut it down, you just press Dev Tools, um, Terminal. Let's see, I'll type in SU and reboot. And there we go. Okay, guys, one more thing. Um, if you look at Cydia, if you for those of the brave souls who have actually taken the you know chance and read my tutorial, you know hopefully it hasn't damaged too many iPhones. But um, you click into this, you will notice that it's got you know everything really. Um, one of the best things uh, I love about this uh, repo is the um, driver extraction script. Um, you know the one that I used to extract all my. Uh, um, uh, Zephyr 2 driver so that you don't have to. Um, you also have the uh, Z images which is the um, kernels uh, by Alex in here which is pretty nice uh, as well as the um, SD card images that you might or might not need. 
And uh, one more thing, going back to the, uh, you know, reading for the comments, uh, you know, people have been quoting me when I, was, when I said better OS. And you know what? I meant it. Yeah. Android, I think Android's a better OS. Or at least 2.2 at least. Um, you know, didn't, I, I tried 2.1 and stock and I, I didn't really like it. It was, it was okay, but I still preferred the clean look of iOS. Um, yeah, that's all. Just, um, probably, you know, pissed off half my uh, subscribers there, but, um, if you like my tutorial, please subscribe, and, uh, if you still don't get it, uh, I might, m if I get enough requests, I might actually make a walkthrough video, though I'm not sure how detailed it might be, so, um, yeah, take care, guys.